Did you know that the large mural in Hammond Castle Museum's War Room was painted by Eric Pape? The War Room was designed so that it might serve as John Hayes Hammond Jr.'s study. The inventor spent much of his career as what we would call today a military contractor. Nearly half of his patents relate to military technology. As such, it seemed appropriate to have a room with that theme. To decorate the circular room, Hammond brought in an original mural painted by Eric Pape. The artist's full name was Frederick Louis Moritz Pape, and he lived from 1870 to 1938. Not only a painter, Pape was also a prominent illustrator, whose life spanned the so-called Golden Age of Illustration. He studied at the École des Beaux Arts in Paris, and became quite a successful portrait illustrator by the 1890s in San Francisco, also the birthplace of Hammond. His works appeared in numerous magazines and books, and he had a tremendous range as an artist, equally comfortable in realism and impressionism. Pape also founded a popular art school in Boston, Massachusetts, which was modeled on the Académie Julian in Paris, the largest of its kind in the U.S. at one point. Like Natalie Hayes Hammond, the sister of Jack and previous subject of this series, Pape was involved with designing sets and costumes for Broadway productions. Pape kept a summer home on Cape Ann, north of Boston, and anchored his yacht in Gloucester. He lived down the road from the Hammond family and became friends with them. He assisted Natalie Harris Hammond, Jack Hammond's mother, in charitable events, creating performances and artwork, as well as decorating their estate for these events. He also painted members of the Hammond family, most notably a full-length painting of Mrs. Hammond in a gown gifted to her by the ill-fated Tsar Nicholas II, for whom Hammond Sr. had once worked. He also painted their daughter on multiple occasions, and drew pictures of her brother Jack as well. Painted in 1918, the mural in the museum's war room was originally housed in the Hammond estate on Lookout Hill, and was not originally curved. It had to be specially mounted in order to fit into its new home, but is perhaps all the more striking of a piece because of this. The painting depicts a fictional naval battle from World War I, as it might have looked had one ever taken place in Gloucester Harbor. The ships in the center are German enemy vessels. The leftmost piece of land is Eastern Point in Gloucester, where some of Hammond's friends made their homes. The aircraft on the right are likely Curtis R-4s, which are guiding some of Hammond's radio-controlled torpedoes below. The far right piece of land contains Point Radio and its two towers, built on the Hammond compound on Lookout Hill. More recently, the mural was restored thanks to a generous contribution from one of the world's foremost collectors of Eric Pape. It can now be enjoyed for generations in Hammond Castle Museum. We hope you enjoyed this video, but there is a lot more to explore about John Hayes Hammond Jr., his inventions, and his collection of art and artifacts. We invite you to visit us at Hammond Castle Museum in Gloucester, Massachusetts to learn more.